Hey beautiful Geminis, welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me here, Gemini. Let's get read to Gemini's read. What about beautiful Gemini's? Thank you guys so much for all your generosity. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to like, subscribe, and comment. I do appreciate it. And welcome all you new subscribers here. Thanks so much for your generosity, Gemini. Uproot your life and leave all that is familiar to you. Some of you could be leaving or moving or relocating. You'll get what you wish for, but is it what you truly want? There's nothing outside of you that can fulfill you, so if you're journeying, uprooting everything you know and moving in a different direction. You make sure it is what you want. Learn when to say no. Avoid clutter. Slow down and quiet your mind. Own your own time and give it meaning. Don't let it pass you by. You're creating a you that you will be proud of. Don't take action if you feel there's a resistance. Don't force something, Gemini. Learn when to say no. So are you doing what you really want to do? Is somebody pushing you in a direction? That you don't really want to go on? Like, it, it, it's a wish come true, but is it really what you want? It's like, you're thinking, learn how to honor and treat your body well. A powerful change will transform your life. It's like, change your perspective of the people that are around you. It's like on one hand, you're thinking, this is a blessing. This is more than I ever imagined. But you're feeling some resistance here, Gemini. A detour is available to you. Are you making a move because you think... Let's see, are you thinking that it could provide you something more? Let's see. It's about a perspective. It's telling you to keep an open mind. Telling you to remain independent or to follow your intuition. This is, this is about a direction. Now, what do I do here? On one hand, you're thinking this is more than I ever imagined. Um... But a detour is available to you. Hmm. Are you making a decision out of loneliness? Are you walking away from something or walking to something? This is the question. Am I doing this based out of loneliness? Or am I doing this, you know, thinking... There's some resistance here, Gemini. It's about a relationship. Someone is offering something to you. Offering something to you. But am I doing this? Uh, 
I don't know. Are you making a decision based on finances? Or are you making a decision about thinking like, I may have an opportunity to increase my finances, but am I doing this out of loneliness? Should I remain independent? Am I going to have to give up my my independence for this? It feels like I don't know, there might be some deja vu here. It's telling you Someone's trying to get some knowledge here. Uh, yeah. You could move far away or there will be a separation or a breakup. So what do I do? What do I do here? Gemini's going. Am I going to have to give up my freedom? Am I going to have to give up my friends and my freedom? I mean, this has incredible potential here, Gemini. But what is it that I got to give up to get there? Is, is somebody asking you to give up something? Like there is potential. You might be relocating. You might have to relocate far away. And somebody is like, this has incredible potential here. But do I have to give up my freedom, my independence to have this? Let's see, Gemini. What do you got going on here, Gemini? Could be a karmic love lesson. Is it somebody jumping into something? because they fall quickly. Is this somebody hustling somebody? There is resistance here. Gemini is like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I make this move? It's almost like somebody is asking you to move closer to them. But what am I I'm giving at the same time? I'm trying to get knowledge. I don't know here, Gemini. This person is like... It's a no strings attached, but... See, there's fighting and pushing. That's resistance. Somebody could have got fired or laid off. Someone's easily triggered here. 
Well, somebody's been a fuck boy. I'm sorry. This is a karmic love lesson. Is somebody may have done something indecent at work. There's a detour available to you right now. I don't know, Gemini. Hang on. There's intense emotions here. Spirit men, mentors and teachers. Freedom is here. Gemini. The Ascendant Masters are here. It's almost like something has potential to be very prosperous and abundant. Sorry, Gemini, I had to take that call. So I was about to start to see what else the universe wants you to know here. So somebody's like... I don't know. Your Sun Masters are telling you to trust your intuition here. Now we've done that. Um, if you're feeling some resistance here, Gemini, listen to it. It's almost like, Gemini, you are feeling torn. It's like you're trying to plan something. Is this a love situation? But there's some burden to it. This is a troublesome, burdensome love situation. Now, should... It's like I have to leave something in order to get something here. Making a decision. Trying to manifest a union, but someone is, like, determined here. Um, I don't know... It's like there could be a marriage involved, but there's some argument here. Someone's curiosity, curious about um, okay, there's a karmic situation here. Someone's acting really defensive. This is a king of wands. Now, I want stability. Um, but Gemini, there's some truth here about you're worried about something, Gemini. You're worried about What the hell? Okay.
You're worried of whether this person is lying to you about something. You're worried that this person could be cheating with other people. You're worried about that this person might be lying to you about something, Gemini, and it's like, if I was to, where am I going to be if I move? Where am I going to be if I move toward this direction with this person? And it's like, I, I feel like I'm giving up too much. I'm giving up my independence. I'm giving up my freedom. I'm giving up my, I'm giving everything up for this person. And what if they're lying to me? I'm feeling some resistance. It's like, I want to be with this person. I see potential here, but I'm feeling a hesitation. Is this person lying to me? Is this, let's ask. Is this person lying to me? Somebody is doing something un indecent at work. They could have lost their job or been reported to HR for doing something indecent. And it's like, is this person lying to me? Is this person like I'm in a committed relationship here? I, I am in a committed relationship with this person. But it's like, I have to give everything up in order to be with this person. Now, if I give everything up in order to be with this person, you could have met this person while they were cheating. You could have met this person at work. You could have met this person through friends or something like that. Well, you know... This could be a karmic lesson you're going to have to learn if you're not careful because it's like I feel the resistance. I feel that this person wanted like a no strings attached situation, but it developed into more. And now I could have met this person while they were with someone else. Now, if this person was cheating on the person that they were with, are they going to cheat on me? And the Seven of Swords is out. So is this person going to cheat on Gemini? Is this person going to cheat on Gemini? They're saying that they stopped a relationship with someone else, but the truth is this person... <coughs> They're being greedy somehow. Like they were greedy somehow. And they want you to move or there's talk about moving. It's like this person could be a karmic. And they could have said, like, I have changed, I'm not that person anymore. But you're worried about this person cheating and giving offers to other people. This is talking to people. This is a, someone who is very flirtatious. They flirt with others. Now, <clears throat> are they still talking to people? Are they still dealing with people? I feel a hesitation. I feel this person pausing and I feel this person, um, this is resistance. This is push and pull, push and pull. Now you could be in a commitment with this person. Oh my good God. So you could be in a commitment with this person now. But it's like this person could have been in a commitment with someone else when you met them. And there are hurt feelings here. Now it's going to hurt somebody to move here. And somebody is sitting here in regret. They regret hurting someone else. They're wishing that they didn't hurt someone else here. 
but somebody could have started a relationship with someone at a distance. Now, distance is a problem here. Now, this person was giving to two, okay? And they recklessly ended something with someone else to be with Gemini. Third party situations. Oh my God. They could have ghosted somebody to work on something with you. But there is a resistance here, Gemini. And there is something hidden. And somebody is being very, very selfish here. There is some kind of injustice that's been done here. And they may have committed to you, Gemini. And they could have been hiding things, hiding a mistress, getting attention. And there is some curiosity here. Now, Gemini might be like, Maybe we're committed, maybe we're married, maybe this person is going to get bored and discontent with me too, and then where am I? And somebody, well, they're juggling. But he was playing and seems to be as though are you worried Gemini that this person is playing around on you they're still in a player energy this person is an incorrigible flirt the red flags are there. You could be feeling there is a detour available to you right now that can be a benefit. So don't put all your eggs in one basket, I want to say. <clears throat> if you meet somebody in a cheating situation, There is always the possibility that this person is going to be their player energy, Gemini. And even though you might love this person, and even though you, they might commit to you, they're still an incorrigible flirt. They're in player energy, and do you always want to live in fear of them cheating? Do you want to be in an Eight of Sword, Nine of Sword situation? Do you always have to fear that they are going to, I don't know, I, Gemini, if you're feeling resistance, live and, listen to it. If somebody is humming and hawing about something, and like you're in a committed relationship, but they were in a committed relationship with someone else. There is always, the Seven of Swords does not appear for no reason. And I don't want to discourage anybody from a love situation, but if you're feeling resistance, is this person uh, trying to stall you, delay you, uh, are they like, do you have to push them? 
you have to keep pushing them and saying, I want to be with you. I want to move in with you. I want to have this relationship with you. If it's you doing that and you're feeling resistance, that is a red flag. Why don't they want to move in with you? What are they hiding? And I'm I'm thinking your suspicions are up here, Gemini. Someone is getting exposed for indecent behavior at work. Like this person is an incorrigible flirt. And they flirt at work and they flirt with other people. And it is not innocent flirting, Gemini. This is a karmic lesson. Be very careful. If you feel a hesitation, if this person keeps coming up with excuses all the time, well, I don't have the money. Oh, I think this will be a problem. Oh, my work. Oh, this happened, that happened, the other thing happened. Uh, those are all red flags. I don't care if you married this person or committed to them. I don't care if they married you. There's still that, that seven of sword energy here, Gemini. Everybody thinks, oh, they won't do that to me. They did that with another person. They were discontent and bored with that person. Mm, no. It's because they're a cheater. That's like blaming, you know, whoever they were with for the downfall. Don't fall into that game. That's a mind trap. If they cheated with you, they will cheat on you. And if someone's in a committed relationship and they're looking for a friends with benefits situation because they're bored and discontent or there's distance, they could have got off their ass and they could have moved closer to that person. But I'm saying here, you're always going to have to live with that possibility. Someone needed to hear that. That's not every Gemini's story. Just take it as it resonates. Some of you are in very committed relationships and that is not your issue. But I can tell you right now that this seven of sword energy comes out for a reason. If they cheat with you, they will cheat on you. Is the message coming through loud and clear? And it doesn't matter to this person if they're married. It doesn't matter to this person if they're in a committed relationship. It does not matter to them as long as they get what they want. They're in player energy, Gemini, and, and I'm sorry, but that's what's coming out. That's what's coming out. And if they will cheat um, on a divine love situation, they will cheat on any situation. It's not about the other person. It's about them. That's what I don't like. You know, when... You always go, well, that'll never happen to me or that'll never happen to me. They love me. I'm sure they told that other person they love them too. I'm sure they told the person before them they love them too. They're an incorrigible flirt and an incorrigible 
player energy. I don't care how sincere they seem. If they cheated with you, they will cheat on you. And that seven of sword came out twice. You know, and just because you may have won a victory over another feminine or another masculine didn't mean you won a prize. It means you may have won a player. It means that, you know, just be, this is one-upping. And... In my opinion, they're no catch. This person is used to having control. This person is used to doing what they want to do, when they want to do it, with whom they want to do it. They're used to flirting. They're used to having friends with benefits. And if they're trying to, like, tame the beast because of a marriage, or you think that, okay, I got a victory, I got them to commit to me, um, that doesn't mean anything. Somebody will marry you and still cheat. You know, you've got to pay attention to the red flags because there could be a karmic lesson situation here. Um, there is a detour available to you. Spirit is saying, consider it, taking it. I would not give up my independence. I would not give up my freedom for someone in a seven of, seven of sword energy. Like you're going to be different than everyone else they've had. Don't be naive. Don't be naive. Take care.